Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to our creative series where we're building the super awesome s'more house here in Scar World. In our last episode, we worked on our living room, and now it's time to work on our dining room with table, chairs, and all sorts of other great decorational details. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scar World here where we're building our super awesome s'more house. So let's fly on down here. And as you can see, the cat defense force has surrounded Bob the Creeper building inspector, and he is now trapped up in his lair up there. We've got the cat defense force here ready to keep us protected as always. So let's head inside here. And of course, we just wrapped up our living room. We've got a beautiful rug chairs and couches coffee tables and of course a beautiful chandelier and there's some cool little wall decorations here and there and of course this wall here i love this with the different uh, little glass blocks and stuff like that and so far you guys have chose to keep the uh the solid blocks but i'll watch that the comments a little longer on that video see how that goes but yeah this is where we're going to work now we have our dining room to start working on so First things first, let's do a quick sample up here and jump on down. And I'm just going to kind of carve into here like so. There we go. And then as you can see, this was our spacing of here. So we put this pole here, then we went one, two, three, four, five, six. And on that sixth block there, we went, we're gonna do another pillar going straight up like so. And then we're just gonna jump on over here and bring that like so. And we've got ourselves a good start to go from. So first thing we're gonna do, like always, we're just gonna carve into our beautiful milk chocolate. There we go. And we're just gonna put down a little bit of detail rug, okay? So let me just head back over here real quick, sample that, and then let me just bring this across here. So another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our dark chocolate and we are going to run that across here. And I think that will look very good, very good. So I've been trying to come up with what our next project is. I've got a lot of ideas. It's just trying to kind of pick what that next idea is going to be. And as you see, now we have our dark chocolate and we're gonna run that across here. One thing you could do to kind of break this up so it's not, you know, the uh, like a, this, this, this transition between these two blocks is a little bit odd. Um, sometimes it, Sometimes you can take, you know, like a, a stair or something to blend that in a little bit better. Um, we might try that in a second. I just want to kind of get this all down and ready to go so we can add our table and get that all set up. But like I was saying, I was trying to figure out, do I want to do another large style house like this or try something smaller? We've talked a bit about, you know, maybe doing something a little smaller here and there. Uh, but I just haven't quite decided what I exactly want to do. I think, uh, I think we'll just kind of work with it a little bit and kind of see, um, try some ideas, maybe run, run them by you guys on uh, Twitter and Facebook and the Instagrams. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure yet. People have been asking what my next project here is. And uh, for the creative series is concerned, um, most likely it'll be the, the biomes, like the biome uh, uh, specific houses. So that, that's one definite idea. But I was wondering, you know, for large scale um, builds like this. This isn't done, by the way, just so you know. It's not done yet. We got more work to do. Okay, um, next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a design that was similar to what we've done in our underwater house. So if you haven't seen me building the underwater house, I highly recommend um, giving it a watch because we did some really unique designs when banners and these new doors came out. And I kinda wanna do the design again, but kinda spruce it up a little bit, make it even nicer. Um, so yeah, right when these new doors and banners were added, first thing I thought of when I saw those, not, oh, that's gonna make a cool door. No, that's gonna make a beautiful backrest for a chair. There we go, there we go, sweet, wonderful. And then what you can do now is, let me swap that out and head into our magical inventory and find our light gray banner. All right, and we're just gonna stick those guys on the backs here like a so. And yeah, like I said, um, we did this way back in like July, I believe, of uh, 2000, was that 2014, I guess? Yeah, 2014, wow, it's, it's kind of been a while, huh? Um, we did something similar to this, but we're kind of sprucing it up and doing it in a larger scale. Um, so it's kind of two different designs. There we go, beautiful, wonderful. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our carpet like so and bring these across here like that. So as you can see how we space these guys out and bring them across here. So pretty simple. It, it looks pretty detailed, but it's also really simple and quick 
to achieve. Look at that. In just these short couple minutes, look what we've achieved so far. So that's pretty good. All right, um, next thing we're going to do here is clear those out. And you guessed it, as always, we're getting our pot out. There we go. We Every design we incorporate it in some fashion. There we go. And I think maybe we'll do some ferns. There we go. I might wanna do another design in the center. If there was something a little taller, would be cool. Maybe something like that. Maybe we can incorporate two flowers and a fern in the middle. Something like that always looks good. And I'm gonna clear out that for now. And then we're gonna head over here and we're gonna grab out, let's see, which color do we want? I think we want this, and I definitely want a pillar block. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna get a little complicated for one second, so bear with me. There we go, and I'm just gonna jump up here. It's a little dark, so let me light this place up a little bit so you can see, and then I'm just gonna bring that down like so, and I think this'll look good. I think this'll look good, so bring that across here like so. Checking, checking, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're on track. Now that looks okay from above, but what I wanna do here is jump up here. I'm gonna remove that block, that block, that, oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh my, we just broke something up top. My bad. I'm so sorry up there. <laughs> there we go. I will fix you later, don't worry, don't worry. I'm looking for a half slab, there we go. I'm lazy, I didn't wanna go into my magical inventory. There we go, and then I'm just going to start bringing these pieces across here like a so. There we go, very good, very good. Come over here, bring that over there, cut that in like so, and this part looks a little funny, so I'm just gonna cover that up too. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, that makes sense to cover that up too. Okay, there we go, awesome. And wow, look at that, we're actually getting something done. This is kind of amazing. Okay, um, let's see, let's grab out you, and we're just going to start from here. So just kind of do an interesting design, just something to mix things up a little bit. There we go. How are we doing? I'm loving it, I'm loving it. How are you loving it? You loving it too? I hope you are, because I really like it so far. Okay, um, this corridor is in much need of some sprucing up. So give me one second here. Let me kind of catch my breath for a moment, see if there's any improvements, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back here, and just finishing up my Twitch stream there. And this still is my favorite room within the uh, house, the Twitch streaming room. I think it's the most unique room. It's something different. And uh, man, I wish I had this in real life. Like when people ask, oh, what would you like to take from your builds in Minecraft and replicate it in the real world? This room right here, I want this right here, right now would be the most amazing thing of all time. But anyway, we have much work to do. And as you can see, we're starting to get ourselves some living space down in our lower level, and it's kinda cool to see. Anyway, let's get back to work here. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring this pillar across here like that. So that is this one, so we're just bringing it all the way across, and we'll do that the same right about there. Yeah, we'll just do it right about there. And then we're just gonna bring this to here. Doesn't need to be scientific, doesn't need to be at all. Um, because we're going to kind of modify that a little bit more when we work in this room right there. And I just broke the floor. All right, we're gonna bring that over to the so, and then I'm gonna swoop on over here and bring this all the way up. Okay, um, things are looking, looking okay. Things are looking okay at this point. Still look up a little bit of modifications needed. There we go, and I'm gonna bring that down like so. I think, I, I kinda like that. Let me see what this looks like. I may change this may change that, I'm, ah, I don't know. I kinda like having the, uh, ooh, ooh, I kinda like it in the inside better. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like this, we can always change it. That's something that is super easy to change. So we're just gonna bring that along there. So we're just kinda doing some improv building right now, my absolute favorite. There we go, sweet, wonderful. And then we'll bring this piece all the way across there, bring that all the way like so, cut that in like there, and, hmm. Let me cut that out and bring this piece over here. Cut that over there. And now we've got ourselves a little, uh, I kinda like that. That's kinda cool up there. I like that a lot, actually. Um, what we could do, anyway, is bring this like that. Had something like that. Yeah, I like that, okay. Now let's jump over here, and like we've done on those walls over there, let's do something like this. We'll bring these pieces up like that, and then we'll cut them in like, hmm. Let's do something. Do something a little different. Let's do, make sure these are all lined up. I think that looks cool. What if we did something like that? Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys? What do you think? What do you think? These. This is interesting design, but I feel like 
having it cut like this would look better if we had it coming down like that, meeting in the middle. But then we're also cutting those pieces off, but I also think that might be okay. I think that might be okay. I think we can forgive that. There we go, cut those in there like so. Bring those like that, cut those in there like so. And there we go, we've got kind of a cool little wall design that we can modify as we uh, move along. But there we go, we've got ourselves a dining room. And as you can see, some of the support structures are starting to appear, giving the house a better feel and more put together. It's all little puzzle pieces, my friends, all little puzzle pieces slowly coming together and making up our design and hopefully you enjoyed as you can see our got our dining room table all assembled and ready to go we've got our string holding up our carpet along this side we've got our potted plants we've got our chairs and of course we've got multiple details on the ground here we have this color that color so a lot of little colors this kind of all blends together kind of oddly but uh, we can always adjust this a little bit as we uh kind of just take time and kind of stare at it for a while. And yeah, there we go. I think that is a wrap on our dining room. And I thank you so much for watching today. And hopefully this inspired you in your own dining room builds and things of that nature. And of course, if you're building along, definitely send me a picture on Twitter because I'd love to take a look at the progress. And yeah, so until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video is already rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll... See you later.